recording. Okay, let's get started. So number one, rewrite in exponential form. Okay, so before I start, we got some base to an exponent equals the answer, and that can be transposed into a log base b of the answer equals the exponent. Or it could go the other way around, right? And of course, that's on the board. It'll stay on the board, but it's nice to have that there. So um, in number one, if I have e to the x equals 10, I'm just taking, going to take it from exponential form to log form. So I'll rewrite this as log base e of 10 equals x, which is technically correct, but there's a better way to write log base e, right? Instead of writing log base e, let's just write that as ln natural log of 10 equals x. That's a better answer. Question. Yes. Yes, always. Good question. Okay. Thumbs up. Okay, number two. So number two, we're going to go the other way. We've got log base 8 of 16 equals x. So we're going to rewrite it in exponential form. So go log form to exponential form. So I go 8 to the x power equals 16. That's it. Thumbs up. Good. Um, number three. So I'm going to go log base 4 of 16 plus log base 4 of 10 minus log base 4 of 20. So I want to write as a single logarithm. So where I see plus, we're going to make it times. Where I see subtract, we're going to make it divide. But I'm going to write as a single log. So I'm going to go log base 4 of, well, let's see what goes inside. Log base 4 of, well, I'll have a 16 times a 10 divided by 20. What is that? 40? What is uh, 160? So, okay, so 16 times 10 divided by 20 is 8. Or a better answer would be to rewrite it as log base 4 of 8. So you, you did the multiplication Yes, because we want to bring it all together. Everything together is a single. So it says single logarithm. That's all I have is a single log. One logarithm, not three logs. Okay, Cassie? So instead of log, 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 it's just a single logarithm. And I brought it together. Plus means times, subtract means divide, okay? All right, let's look at 4. Okay, 4, we got a graph. y equals log base 2 of x, and it's inverse. So the inverse is actually easier to graph first, because the inverse is going to be the exponential, or y equals 2 to the x. That's easier to graph first, okay? Um, let me get a little piece of graph paper out so I can get this fairly accurate. And I'm going to graph an exponential. So get my ruler so I can get this. So you're going to need both tomorrow. So if I let x be negative 1, 0, 1, 2, and 3, that's enough points to give me a dot to dot or a scatter plot. Okay, so if I let x equal negative 1, 2 to the negative 1 power is going to be 1 half. If you don't believe me, you can try it. 2 to the negative 1 power, negative 1 power is going to be negative 1 half. Here's positive 1 half, okay? If I plug in 0, 2 to the 0 power is 1. You can plug it in, check it. If I plug in 1, 2 to the 1 power is 2. If I plug in 2, 2 to the 2 power is 4. If I plug in 2, plug in 3, 3, 2 to the 3 power is 8. Okay, so I'm going to graph these. And it's going to look something like this. I'm going to have, and I'll do this one in purple, or yeah, purple. I'll have a negative 1, 1 half. A 0, 1, a 1, 2, a 
two, four, and a three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It looks exponential, doesn't it, right? That looks exponential. Awesome. Okay, and I'll slow down for a second, okay? So I just created a scatter plot, made it easy to graph it. I could put it on my calculator and graph it, but I know what it is. It's two times two, two times two times two. So I'm just doing two to some power, okay? Now it's inverse, it's gonna be the log. It's inverse, and I want to make sure you guys write this down. Am I going too fast? Yes. Okay, I'll wait for you. Okay, I also am gonna have a horizontal asymptote in here. And I'll wait for you. So if I do the others, if I do its inverse, 1 half, negative 1, 1, 0, 2, 1, 4, 2, and 8, 3, because the log and the exponential are inverses of each other. So to do the inverse, we just switch the points, right? We just switch x and y's around, y's and x. And if I graph this, I'll have 1 half, negative 1, 1, 0, 2, 1, 4, 2, and 8, 5, 6, 7, 8, 3. Yeah? So, what is the y equals? That's this one. Yeah, that's that one. y equals 2x is that one. 2 to the x. Right, so the opposite of this graph is it's exponential. And if I were to change it from log form to exponential, I get this. Okay, ready? 2 to the y equals x, but it's the inverse, so I switch x and y's, okay? Okay, well, Cassie? I thought that you were now doing the inverse. So this was the original, and so I did the inverse first, because graphing a log is hard. I don't know how to graph a log, do you? Well, I actually do, but. The way the log starts is with its exponential. So you graph the exponential first to get the log. Graph the exponential first to get the log. So I've got the exponential. And that's a graph you guys know. Now the log graph, we switch the points around. And the log graph looks like this. And it'll have a vertical asymptote, okay? So here's what I did. Cassie, let's see if I can make some clarity out of this. Yeah, I'll start from the beginning. Okay, so the very beginning is I'm supposed to graph this. But I can't graph that, right? I mean, I might be able to put on my calculator and take a look at it. But then, you know, I might be able to go, it's like y equals clear. I might be able to go log. Well, I have to go log base, right? Go to my math. Go to my log base. 2 of x, and let's see what it looks like, okay? But I have to graph them both. So what I did, this one's difficult to graph, so I have to graph them both. So I graphed the exponential first, base 2 to the x, okay? So I have to, I graphed its exponential first knowing that I can graph this pretty easily, right? I can plug in values of x and get this exponential. Knowing that the logarithm is the opposite or the inverse. So I graphed my exponential and then to graph my log, I switch the points. And what I get are these two graphs. There's my exponential and there's my log. All right, let's do number five, okay? Yes, I'll put that back up. Sorry, Sophie, I'll wait for you. I will, and then we'll do five.
Okay. Now, 5. So the graph g of x is a transformation of f of x. f of x, now this just, I got to word this correctly. This is not log of x. In fact, log of x looks like this. Check it out. We just did it, right? We just did a log graph, right? This is the log graph. So I want to actually draw the, the original. So watch. The original graph was this. Here's my log graph. Put that in red. That's my log graph. That's f of x. So what happened from f of x to g of x? What happened? Say it again. It, right. Is there, you guys see it's reflection? So if I want it, it, I totally agree it's a reflection. So it's reflection. So you have to know what the original parent function looks like to do it. The parent function looks like this. To be a reflection, it's going to be a g of x equals a negative log of x. And I want to highlight that negative because you're totally right, Greta. If it's a reflection, it's a negative, and that's going to flip it over the x-axis, okay? Those are difficult. We're going to do some of those in our homework today. I'm going to help you with them, okay? Okay, here comes the easy stuff. Okay, we did the hard stuff. Honestly, we did the hard stuff. Let's look at the easy stuff, okay? You ready for the easy stuff? But I'll wait for you. Sophia, you give me a thumbs up when you're ready, okay? Okay, here, let's do the easy stuff. Honestly, easy stuff. Number six, question six, we're going to solve for 10 to the x equals 11,345. What am I going to do? I'm going to take the log of it. I'm just going to go log base 10 of 11,345. Log base 10 is my normal log. log it's my normal log. It's my basic log button, so I'm just going to go log of 11,345, and I get an answer of 4.05. 4.055, I guess. X equals approximately 4.055. 7 e to the x equals negative 8. Okay? I'm going to change this to log. I'm going to go log base e of negative 8 equals x. But log base e is a natural log. And I already know the answer is going to be undefined. But if you don't believe me, we could check it out. How do I know it's undefined? Can't take negatives, can I? But I mean, if, like, let's say you forgot that, you're still okay. Because you go ln negative 8, and guess what you get? Oh, non real. So right there, you're like, oh, wait a minute, something's wrong. So you can't take logs of negative numbers, undefined. Okay, thumbs up. That's easy, right? Even if you don't understand what I said, the calculator is going to tell you, right? Okay, let's look at 8. I've got log base 3 of x equals 5. All right, let's change it from log form to exponential form. So we'll go 3 to the fifth power equals x. Uh, 243? I think it's 200. 243? Hold on, I'll check it out. 3 to the fifth power is, yeah, 243. 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, or x equals 243. We're on the easy step. We really are. Slow me down, Sophie, if I get going too fast, OK? Number 9, 6 times 3 to the x equals 72, OK? Well, I'm just going to solve, but I'm going to divide by 6 first. Everybody agree with that? Divide by 6 first. So, okay, I'm going to do that. I'm going to divide by 6, divide by 6. 3 to the x equals 12. 
I'm going to change this into a logarithm of base 3. So I'm going to change it from exponential into log form with base 3. And use my fancy calculator. I'm going to go log base 3 of 12 equals x. Well, okay, go to my math button. I log base, log base 3 of 12, but 2.262, approximately equal to 2.262. That was pretty easy, right? We're doing the easy stuff right now, aren't we? Okay, 10, 5 to the 3x minus 9 equals 125. Now, there's two ways to do this one. I want to do it the easy way. I could take the log. I could go log base 5 of 125. I could do that. I could go log base 5 of 125 equals 3x minus 9. I could, but I'm not going to do it that way. I know that 125 is 5 cubed. Okay, these two numbers are the same. You guys agree with that? So this is the way I'm going to do it because I saw that. Now, you don't, if you don't recognize that, you can change it to a log form, and this will be 3. Okay, so then cancel the 5s. And I'd have a 3x minus 9 equals 3. Same base. And plus 9 plus 9. 3x equals 12. Divide by 3. x is 4. Okay. Either way, either method is fine. It'll both work. Okay, whisk this away. So I canceled out the fives because they have the same base. So I changed 125 is 5 cubed. Okay. Okay, 11. Let's look at 11. All right, 11 is log base 4 of 4x minus 5 equals 2. All right, I'm going to change this from log form to exponential form. Just change from here to here. So I'm going to rewrite this as 4 to the 2 power equals 4x minus 5. Log form to exponential form. And then 4 squared is 16 equals a 4x minus 5 plus 5 plus 5. 21 is equal to 4x. Divide by 4 what is that? 5 and 1 fourth? Yeah, 5 and 1 fourth. Or 5.25. Aren't these easy? These are the easy ones, right? You guys agree? Okay, 12. Natural log. 2x plus 9 equals natural log. 5x minus 6. Okay. They basically have the same base, base E, right? They've got the same base. So just like 10, if they have the same base, we can cancel out the same bases. These have the same base, base E. So I'm just going to cancel out the natural logs. And I'm just going to go straight to 2x plus 9 equals 5x minus 6. And I'm just going to solve, hoping I don't get a negative answer. I don't think I will, though. I think I'm going to get an answer of 5. Uh, minus 2x minus 2x. I get 9 equals 3x minus 6. Plus 6 plus 6. 15 equals 3x. Divide by 3, divide by 3, x is 5. And that answer is going to work. I'm not going to get any negatives. I'm okay with that answer. Okay. 
Okay. All right, 13 is really easy. It is, honestly. What's my invisible number? I've got an invisible number. It is E. Everybody agree? Invisible number is E. So I'm just going to go E to the 0 0.8 equals X. And I just have to use my calculator on that. Okay, so let's see what I got. Clear. I've got an E to the 0.8. And I can answer about 2.226. Approximately equal to 2.226. Okay. Wasn't that an easy one? Yeah. Lucy. Yes. Okay. Turn the page. Let's look at 14. Now, 14, we just did these. 14, if we have two points. Y equals A, B to the X. We have two points. We get a 1, 3, and a 4, 24, right? We just did these. So we want to change these to these points to make an exponential function. So every point's got some X and Y value. I plug my 3 in for Y and my 1 in for X. All right. 3 equals A, B to the 1. Um, I want to solve for A, solve for A, so divide by B, divide by B, through B equals Z, okay, because that's going to help me out, okay, so solve for A, always solve for A, trust me, always solve for A, so A is equal to 3 over B, so then I'm going to use, again, Y equals A, B to the X, but I'm going to use the other point. I need two equations, and I need to substitute. So 24 goes in for y, and 4 goes in for x. Okay. Now, again, I have too many variables, but if I substitute, then I'll get everything down in terms of b, and that's not bad. Once I get everything in terms of b, I can solve better. 24 equals not a, not a, but 3 over b times b to the fourth power, okay? Well, one of these b's will cancel with one of those b's, and we'll have 24 equals 3b to the third power. Okay, this is getting easier. This is getting easier. I'm going to divide by 3, because I'm going to solve b. Divide by 3, divide by 3. We've got 8 equals b to the third power, okay? It's getting easier. Cube root, right? B cube, cube root, cube root of both sides. And the cube root of 8 is 2 because 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8, so 3 of them. So I know that the value of B is 2. Okay, I'm getting closer. So now I'm taking my 2, put it right in there. So the value of A is. 3 over 2, or 1.5 or 3 halves. Now, my equation, right? Let's write the equation. Equation is going to be y equals a, which is 3 halves, times b, which is 2 to the x power. Now, there's one more question. Don't forget, there's a second question. Okay, once I get my equation, I'm going to use it. So now it says, okay, let's find f of 3. Well, that just means plug 3 in. That means plug, plug in 3. Okay, so I'll take my 3 and plug it right there. And I'm going to use my calculator, sure. Okay, so I'm going to go, all right, f of 3 is equal to 3 halves, 2 to the third power, and let's see, that's 8. Let's see, that's 24. Okay, I'm just going to do it. Okay, so I'm going to go and just go 3 halves, or 1.5, times 2 to the third power, and I get 12. F of 3 is 12. How am I doing? Are we okay? Okay, good. All right. Um... I'll turn the page in just a minute.
So number 14 is what we just did with our calculus. So we have your calculator and your stat button, okay? So, all right, number 14. So first thing I'm gonna do is let's do a scatter plot. Um, so the number of trampolines, so you're a trampoline store, you take off and your trampolines are so cool that every year you, you sell more and more and more. You are the bomb. You're the best trampoline company in business. Everybody wants your trampolines because they're so cool. So year one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? And then I'm gonna go by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So you start off year one, small business. And you only sell 12, but you're like, hey, we got something good here. Let's keep going. Year two, you sell 16. All right, it's better. Okay. <coughs> Year three, 25, it's better. And then you're like, wait a minute, we got something good here. Year four is 36. Year five is 50. You're making some money. Year six is 67. Year seven is nine. Now at this point in time, you're like, "Hoo hoo! We better, we better get a new factory. We better hire some new employees because we are taken off. So we need a exponential. <coughs> so we're gonna go to our stat button, right? And I'm gonna enter this stuff into our statistics. Okay, so I go to stat. <coughs> we're gonna go to edit. We're going to enter data. All right, so I've got to clear my list. I've got to clear my list. list. I'm going to enter data. So I've got year one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? Oh, Madison, do you have an extra card? I do, yes. It's right here. Thank you. Yeah, this is good timing because we didn't cover that. We covered that in class today, okay? List two. 12, 16, 25, 36, 50, 67, and 96, okay? Okay, I've entered my data. Then I'm gonna go back to stat. Okay, I go to stat. I'm gonna go over to calculate. Oop, back to stat to calculate. And now this time I'm looking for my exponentials. Number 10, which is my exponential regression line. Enter that. And then I'm going to calculate. And I'm going to get my answer. So it comes out as y equals ab to the x. My a in my calculator is... 8.46 and my B and my character is a 1.42 and so my equation has got to be a Y equals 8.46 times a 1.42 to the X power. Okay, not too bad. We just let the calculator do the work for us, right? Now, let's use our equation. C, 10 years, okay? Yes, I will. I'm going to write down 10 years.